Hello, good afternoon. How's everyone? Welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad you all joined me again. Please like, subscribe and share to my channel. It's really important for the growth of my channel. Today, uh, I'm at the Ham House and Gardens. It's a hot summery day. So let's explore. So today is a very hot summery day and I've got water bottle with me and I've got some snacks as well to fill me up for today. So we're just going to walk around here and explore the ham house and gardens and I'll show to you as well. So let's go. Ham house is a 17th century house set in formal gardens on the banks of River Thames in the London borough of Richmond. The name ham derives from the old English ham which here meant land in a river bend. Ham house rooms display collection of the 17th century paintings, portraits and miniature. Ham House was originally built in 1610. It's the creation of an enterprising courtier William Murray and his daughter Elizabeth. As a young boy, William was educated with Charles I. So William was given the lease of Ham House and its estate as a gift from the king in 1626. It's a true example of luxury and grandeur. The entrance hall at the first glance looked so impressive and grand. It truly takes you back to the magnificent bygone era. House rooms display collection of 17th century paintings, portraits and miniature. Then there was this intricate and beautifully carved staircase. I was totally visualizing the magnificent lifestyle of the affluent families who lived there. The paintings displayed their wealth and passion for art. I was so mesmerized by their collection of paintings and artifacts. The overview of the entrance hall and upstairs staircase area looked so impressive and divine that I just wanted to stay there for a long time and to soak in the atmosphere.
the cabinets, tapestries and furniture you see today retained by generations of the Moray and Tolmache families. The paintings and the art you see today reflects the historic affluence of the families who lived there. From miniature to furniture, the creativity and craftsmanship of a bygone, magnificent era mesmerize and captivates even today as you explore the house. This room is called the Long Gallery. Long Gallery served several purposes. It provided space to entertain guests and to display art and furniture and also to exercise during poor weather like rain, thunder, The ornate, luxurious cabinets in this room were used to store and display precious contents. The ornate floral marquetry cabinet and tables are by the famous Dutch cabinet maker, Gerrit Jensen. The portraits on the walls depict family members as well as portraits of the royal family to show off their close relationship with the crown. This small private space was created in the 1630s by William Murray, following the example of Whitehall Palace by Charles I in the style of an Italian studio. Whitehall Palace burned down in 1698. So the green closet at Hem House is a remarkable survival that gives us clues as to the likely appearance of the king's closet there. The
The tapestry looked so impressive and it tells the story of Cyrus, a Greek king. This room is called the Marble Dining Room. This was the family dining space and one of the first rooms that visitors would have seen. This room is called the Queen's Apartments. This suite of room was installed for Queen Catherine of Braganza, the wife of King Charles II. The largest room was a bedchamber which was changed to a sitting room in the 18th century. The bedchamber looked so impressive and regal along with all the paintings, artwork and the tapestries. It was truly a magical experience. So that's the Duke dressing room. John Midland was created Duke of Lauderdale in 1672 and was part of the inner circle of power in the court of Charles II, popularly known as the Cabal. So that's the Duchess bathroom. The bathroom was one of the first in the country to be built dating from about 1675. Bathing indoors with hot water involved many servants and so it was an expression of wealth and luxury. However, the Duchess also had a bathhouse built for her servants in the courtyard outside. The wooden bar above the wooden bathtub held up a cloth to create a steam bath. The more modern looking bath with elaborate controls was installed in the early 1900s. So here's the kitchen. The household staff prepared food and drink for the enjoyment of the Duchess and Duke of Lauderdale and their guests. Fruit, vegetables, salad, herbs and edible flowers were grown at ham in, in the kitchen garden. It was both practical and fashionable to have such a garden and a showpiece for guests to admire.
The garden produce was used to create impressive banquets for the Duchess and Duke, to supply their central London townhouse, and to feed their household staff. So here's this very interesting room to dry flowers and herbs and I've just felt the aromas of lavender and other interesting herbs. The walled garden grabs your attention as soon as you enter into the gardens. It's full of beautiful fragrant shrubs and some plants of fruits and vegetables. There are many kinds of flowers to enjoy and to feast your eyes. The kitchen garden has been at the ham house since the 1600s. It's the most productive walled kitchen gardens in London. It provides the Ham House Cafe homegrown produce all year round. Organic methods are used to retain the quality and natural flavors of fruits and vegetables. During the summer months, the vegetable bags and cut flowers are on sale too. Please do subscribe, like and share my channel as it will give me motivation to create more interesting content. Please join me again for a fabulous vlog. Thank you so much for watching my vlog. That's all for now. Bye.